Hey, what's up, YouTube, man? Uh, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been missing in action for a little bit. Um, I was sick. I don't know what I got. I don't know if it's a regular cold or COVID or I don't know. But I know the first um, couple of days I was not feeling well. I was just in bed. So, But now I'm, I'm back. I'm going to try to crank out um, a couple of videos this weekend. And um, I'm going to start it off with um, today's um, video, which is about chapter 1036 of One Piece. So let's get on to that. You know, you know the deals. Hit the subscribe, the notification button. Hit, give me a like if you can, and um, you know, let me know um, what's what's your favorite um One Piece chapter, um, or Wano chapter? Yeah, let's do that. What's your favorite Wano chapter? Um, I thought today's chapter was pr pretty good, so we we'll get on into that right now. So um, Luffy versus Kaido. I think it was um. Oh, and by the way, I got some food on the side, so if you see me munching on the. Munching on the cam, you know, camera, you know, don't mind me, don't mind that. But anyway, um, Luffy versus Kaido. I thought it was pretty good. Um, to be honest, the chapter wasn't like spectacular in a sense, like oh my god, groundbreaking. But I, I, I mainly be believe that's because um, it's a battle, it's a battle chapter, right? And for me personally, I like um watching these types of chapters animated, so. You know, I, I thought it was a fine chapter. Um, we didn't see a new transformation from Luffy or Kaido, so to me, it was like, you know, it was it was good. It kind of felt like a warm up chapter, so I'll give it a seven point five out of ten. Um, but the ending does bring questions, but we'll talk about that later on um, in today's video. But going back to Luffy versus Kaido, um, I actually did um, like the dialogue between the two. It was pretty funny. Cause it's essentially had um, Kaido just said like, "Yo, bro, like, I love this moment right now. Hey, it been it been a while. It been a minute since somebody actually challenged me, and so for me, coming and just looking at Luffy, I'm like, dang, Luffy really came a long way. This man, like, coming into Wano, heck, before all that, whole cake island. I'm like, Luffy, Kaido." Like, I wasn't really sure where it was going to go. And then they added Big Mom, Kaido Big Mom joined forces. And I'm like, how can Luffy realistically, realistically beat Kaido? Now, there was a couple of theories saying maybe Zoro and Luffy um, can team up and fight Kaido. Similar to how Law and Kid is fighting Big Mom. And to be honest, that was, I, I thought that probably would have made the most sense. Um... And then maybe Sanji, instead of him fighting Queen, Sanji can, you know, throw hands with King or something and give Sanji, uh, you know, proper, you know, opponent to fight. But that didn't, that didn't happen. And, and instead, Luffy is 1v, 1v1 Kaido right now. Zoro is taking down, um, is fight would take, have taken down King and Sanji have beaten Queen. Now, I guess... Technically speaking, it, it somewhat happened, right? With Big Mom and Kaido fighting the five supernovas. But that 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 went, you know, downhill. They essentially got divided, split up. And so now we are where we at right now. But it's, it's pretty cool still. Um, it just shows that Luffy fighting and his growth is extraordinary. So in that sense, I think that's, that's pretty cool just to see. And I'm actually excited. I'm... I'm excited to see what's to come because after Kaido's like, man, at this point, I don't ever, I don't want to see Luffy struggle with nobody unless they are at least an Amaru. And even an Amaru, I feel like Luffy shouldn't just be getting bodied. It, should, it shouldn't be, they should put some respect on Luffy and not just Luffy, his entire crew's name. Like Luffy have gotten to the point where it's like, I'm expecting if somebody dogging Luffy, I'm expecting them to be stronger than an emperor, so or Yanko, whichever one you wanna you know call it. So, yeah, um, the only opponents that I can I can I can see that can rival Luffy, uh, of course the other um, emperors, um, Fleet Admiral, you know, and maybe those five old guys or what are they, the elder elder five whatever them old guys um at Marine Fort those five guys, five guys, hey. 
But yeah, those old goats, I think they um will probably give Luffy a run for his money as well. Um but yeah, going back to the um uh, chapter, um I like the fact that Kaido started drinking. Also like the fact that Kaido acknowledged that drinking does not make him weaker. So the very first time Luffy and Kaido fought, I know a lot of people were saying like, oh, you know, Kaido, you know, and it, it got really bad in the anime when Ka Kaido and Luffy fought. And people was like, yo, Kaido, you know what I'm saying? He was drunk. That's why. But Kaido just confirmed that him drinking does not make him weaker. So, so I thought that's pretty cool. Um, and like I said before, like Kaido and, and um, Luffy, it just seemed like they were warming up. They're not really, they they fighting, but they're they not really going all out right now. And so I'm interested to see like what is Luffy next gear or awakening or whatever you want to call it. And if Luffy can go toe to toe with current Kaido who's using his um his um hybrid form, I'm wondering right now, like, yo, what's next for Kaido? Is do Kaido have another transformation that he's holding out on? And if so, what would it, what, what would that be? Would that be awakening? I always thought that hybrid was like a awakening for like zones or whatnot, because it don't seem like every single zone can actually do awakening. Like I don't think we've seen King awakening, which is pretty disappointing if you ask me. But hey, but um yeah um the fight was pretty good. Um like I said, they didn't do nothing too spectacular. Um they were just basically going at it hitting each other. Kaido hit Luffy. Luffy hit Kaido. You know, Kaido going to move strings like he, like he's pregnant or something. I like, I don't know. Like this man was crying and, and it was, it was just, it was just, it was just, um, crazy and funny. And, you know, I really do enjoy Kaido. I really do. He's a very good, he's an interesting villain. Um, and I think that's a good parallels between Kaido and Luffy. That's, that I think is, um, almost kind of like a passing the torch it kind of feels like in a sense so but um anyway there was some some stuff about you know um um for i don't know what the word is um i guess party the people partying you know they don't party often so they 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 we, we see some of that stuff you know and but what got me interested is towards the end and Going back to the government, they was talking about um a devil fruit. I personally, I personally believe the devil fruit that they was talking about can potentially be Luffy's devil fruit. Because I remember they brought up Luffy devil fruit and it would be and it was being guarded. And Shanks took it somehow, right? So if you ask me, I think the devil fruit that they was talking about is Luffy. Now I have read online where people were saying, hey, Luffy, once you eat or consume a devil fruit, you will automatically know his name or something like that. But I mean, to be honest, this, uh, this Luffy, and considering Luffy is Luffy, the moment Shanks said, hey, it's the government on me or whatever, Luffy party like, well, Shanks said it's the government on me. Like, I can, I can, I can really see Oda just trolling and Luffy, the moment he ate the fruit, something was in his head telling him this is what the fruit is called. And Luffy like, no, Shanks said it's the government on me. So it's the government on me. I can really see that because it's Luffy. So that's still a uh, chance that. This devil fruit that the five elders was talking about is Luffy's devil fruit. And I think that would be be interesting. A little bit of well, so we thought Luffy had this regular old regular ass devil fruit and now he got some overpowered god fruit. <clears throat> you know, you know it's shonen. But um yeah, they didn't clarify or specify which which um fruit they were talking about, but I'm thinking it's Luffy's devil fruit. But yeah, uh, overall, like I said, the chapter was pretty good. It was solid. I enjoyed it for the most part. Um, you know, maybe we go more detail. Maybe I put um do another video going more in depth about the chapter. But overall, I enjoyed it. 
Uh, like I said, it wasn't too spectacular, like groundbreaking, like a new transformation or anything like that. But it was, it was still pretty good. This fish is pretty good. But yeah, um, let me know what you guys think, man. Tell me, drop it in the chat. Um, and again, I got the bounty. I got. I know. I know. I have a couple of videos that I said I was gonna post. They'll also be coming at some point um this weekend. I know I have to go and do a bounty, a bounty video. So tell you, let you guys know my predictions about the bounties or around what level or around what bounty range each um straw hat will um get. Also, the next straw hats, you know, that's another video that I want to do on um, who is actually joining the um Luffy and his crew for the you know couple couple of chapter uh, the final few chapters or whatnot. So, well, not chapters but arcs, you know. So, but yeah, um, with that being said, man, um, I. I'm feeling a little bit better, so look out for uh, more videos being posted on my channel. Again, like I said, subscribe, hit the notifications, give me a like. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I often say, I was finna say something, but then I just lost. I often say, pretty please, pretty please. But you know what? We gonna be, we gonna be gangster with it. We gonna be Luffy. If you if you rock with me, man, just give me that like. All right. But, yeah, uh, appreciate you guys for tuning in, watching this video, and um, I'll see you guys next time.